Greetings, fellow carbon-based life forms. I am Harold the Hair Bear, Jack of All. Today will be part one of the unboxing details and first impressions of my new camera gear setup, including the Canon EOS M50 two lens kit. In part two, we'll take a look at the bundle I purchased the M50 with, as well as some additional accessories I purchased, including the Rode Video Micro. Now, if you're already an expert on cameras, video, and YouTube, well, you're probably not watching the unboxing video of a moderately priced camera anyway. This video is intended for young people, people who are newer to YouTube, or possibly people who are wanting to up your game, like myself, with a better camera system. My first real camera, an SLR or single lens reflex, no D, this is prior to the digital revolution, was a Canon AE-1 program. As a teen, I worked hard and saved up so I could purchase the AE-1 program. It was introduced in 1981 to replace Canon's original and very popular AE-1. It had an auto feature, which set the shutter speed and aperture automatically, which made SLR cameras accessible to more people because you didn't have to be a professional or an expert to take great photos. This was arguably the precursor to the automatic modes and settings that we have today. Now, back then, in the 20th century, people took pictures on media called film. Rolls of film were purchased with a set number of exposures available, 12, 24, I believe the largest at the time was 36. You could not just keep shooting until your memory card was full. We didn't have memory cards. You had to plan your shots, and once all the exposures on that roll were used, you were done. You then took the roll to a camera sh shop, a, a photo hut, if anyone remembers those, or possibly your local pharmacy where they developed the film, and you generally had to wait a few days for your printed photos to be ready for pickup. Of course, we were not recording videos on those cameras either. Now, I purchased my first digital camera in 2000. That camera had 2.4 megapixel resolution. In contrast, this Canon M50 has 24.1 megapixel resolution, 10 times that of my first digital camera. I pulled the kit out of the bundle so we could open it in this video. I will link the products in the description box below. These are non-affiliated links. I'm just providing them to give you a starting place for your shopping. Well, the first thing you see is the thick operating manual. It is extensive. I have downloaded the manual from Canon's website and gone through it briefly. It's over 300 pages long, although many contain pictures and step-by-step -step instructions on how to adjust the M50's many settings and options. More than half of the manual discusses still photography, which I skimmed through. I know I will use the M50 for still photography, but I wanted to mainly focus on its video recording capabilities. Also included are the registration and warranty information. Now, this is the M50 camera body. You can purchase just the camera body for around $579, or as a kit with one lens, the 15 to 45 millimeter lens, for $599. Or you can purchase this kit which includes a second 55 to 200 millimeter zoom lens for around $829, which is a savings of $100 or more over purchasing that lens separately. Uh, the bundle I purchased this, this kit with was $869, which has since dropped to $839. I have to admit, I did not really get a great value for the additional $40, but I would consider the current price to be a good deal. And we'll check out the rest of what came in the bundle in my part two video. Now, I should mention that the M50 is a mirrorless camera, not a DSLR. There are several buttons and dials used for controlling the various settings, modes, and options. The power switch is right here. Uh, this is the shutter button used for taking still shots and the record button to start and stop your video recordings. The menu button is used to access settings and you can play back video and stills with the included screen. It does have a pop-up flash for stills, and you can also add an external flash on the shoe. And this is also where you would mount an external microphone. The M50 does have a built-in mic, but it's generally recommended to use an external mic for much better sound quality. The screen is a touchscreen, which can also be used to access and adjust settings and controls for the camera. The closed position protects the touchscreen, and this is how you should always store or transport the camera. But it can be moved out to the side, it can be rotated and moved back, or it can be rotated toward the front. Now this is going to be very useful if you're vlogging or doing interviews or other activities where you'll be in front of the camera, 
and you can adjust the viewing angle somewhat. From my research, the M50's articulated touchscreen is a step above most competitors. On the Sony model, which competes with the M50, for example, the screen only pops up. So, if you have an external mic mounted on the shoe, the screen is mostly blocked. Of course, there is also a viewfinder and a diopter that you can adjust the view based on the needs of your particular eyesight. The battery and the SD card are inserted here at the bottom. Now, the M50 can shoot 4K video at up to 24 frames per second, although there are a couple of things to be aware of. There's a pretty serious crop when you're shooting 4K, the files are much larger, and possibly most importantly, you lose Canon's highly rated dual pixel autofocus. Now, I may shoot a bit of 4K now and then, but most of the time I will be recording in 1080p, which it can record at up to 60 frames per second. And that's where I believe this particular camera is going to shine. That's also where the dual pixel autofocus will come into play. What the autofocus does, for example, example, when you're vlogging, the autofocus will quickly find and focus on your face as you move closer to or further away from the lens, and Canon beats its competitors soundly in this category. Autofocus is available for face tracking, zone tracking, or single point tracking. The M50 can also record 720p video at up to 120 frames per second, which can be used for playing back slow motion video. Now, while some people may scoff at a kit lens, by all accounts, the 15 to 45 millimeter lens is an excellent performer, and most likely the lens I'll be using for most of my video recordings, at least for the near future. A 15 to 45 millimeters refers to the focal length. That's basically the distance from the camera sensor to the point of convergence on the lens. 15mm will be wide angle, and 45mm when it's zoomed in. The second lens is the 55 to 200mm zoom lens. Both of these are Canon's EF-M lenses, which are native to the M-series cameras and support image stabilization. Currently, there's not a wide variety of EF-M lenses available, but that'll hopefully change in the future with the rising popularity of the M50 and other M-series cameras. However, you can purchase a lens adapter, which will allow you to use other Canon EF and EF-S lenses, and that opens you up to a much wider variety of lens selections. Just be aware that when using an adapter with other lenses, you'll likely lose the image stabilization function. Now, the other number to be aware of on the lenses is the number you see on the front of the lens. 49 millimeters on the 15 to 45 millimeter lens, and 52 millimeters on the 55 to 200 millimeter zoom. That is the diameter of the lens, and you need to know that when you're selecting filters. Now also in the box is a Canon battery, and a charger. Now the Canon M50 is a relatively small camera, and likewise the battery is fairly small and not super high capacity, Although Canon says it can record up to 85 minutes of video, or even longer, if you're using auto mode with no zoom, but your mileage may vary depending on the modes, lenses, and options that you're using. Also included is a strap for the camera. So, there you have the Canon EOS M50 and the two lenses which came in the kit that I purchased. Please join me for the part two video where we'll look at the rest of the bundle and the accessories that I purchased. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation and possibly even learned something. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up like button below. I'd love to hear your comments regarding the Canon M50 or possibly competing products that you may have experience with. Thank you for watching. I am Harold the Hair Bear, Jack of All. As always and until next time, peace.